Hey Realm Broken World Entertainment and in this video we're gonna take a look at the new Netflix series House of the Ninjas because once again we managed to get a good TV program courtesy of Japan this time not Korea <laughs> so we won't do much spoilers or anything like that um, it's only eight episodes each episode's about 54 minutes long so it's your basic hour you know if you take a normal show if there was adverts it'd be your hour so the show is about a family of shinobis and six this takes place six years after their final mission basically where they were to rescue a kidnapped politician who i think was running for office at the time and in that mission, the oldest son is murdered. And because of that, they give up being shinobis and try to live normal lives. And it, it's you pick up from them kind of struggling with normal life. The father very much does not want to be any part of the shinobis anymore. He wants to get as far away from it as possible. And yet... He still sticks strictly to their rules. And the rules of being the shinobi is you can't eat meat, you can't drink alcohol, you can't drink uh, sodas, anything like that. You're basically a vegan. Well, not a vegan, but a vegetarian. Um, and he strictly adheres to those rules, even though he doesn't want any part of being the shinobi anymore. And the irony is he runs a brewery. <laughs> that's making Saki. The next son, um, who is now the oldest one left, um, is working as a guy who restocks um, vendor machines and he has um, interest in this woman who's at this restaurant he goes to every night and she has a bit of an interest in him and, you know, she noticed that he keeps ordering the exact same food every night and he noticed she does the same thing and there's an interesting uh, thing that happens with them then there's a sister a younger sister again who uses her skill she never stopped training to be a shinobi she kept up her training and what she does is she's breaking into museums stealing um, museum pieces but returns them leaves a note saying i'll return in three days and then breaks back in to return them and it's pretty much to use her skills and um, because she manages to do it right under their noses the mother is incredibly frustrated with being a, a housewife now essentially she keeps using her skills to go into supermarkets and stealing uh, but she's not stealing massive items. She's just taking like sauces and seasonings and stuff. Um, but she's desperate to go back to the lifestyle of the shinobi. Then there's a grandmother who's just a crazy old fart. Who <laughs> laughs at everything and whatnot. And constantly kind of hints of the shinobi ways. To the last character in the family. Well it's not really the last character is the youngest child who's about six or seven maybe eight I, th I think he's about seven or eight um who doesn't know their shinobis but he, he was born when their last mission was i think he was about one maybe two when that mission happened that's why i think he's about seven or eight um and the funny thing with the kid is because they all keep um, trying to have conversation stuff that kind of allude to the shinobi lifestyle and stuff the kid feels left out and therefore he thinks he's adopted and keeps questioning them on that it's like am I adopted because I always feel different to all of you but he also notices something about their house their house is massive and yet there's only a certain amount of rooms and he's drawing diagrams and everything in the house going this doesn't make sense like what, why is our house so big big yet there just doesn't seem to be that many rooms something's wrong here 
And of course, we get to know the brother who was murdered, the oldest son, through flashbacks um, with the younger sister and the other brother. Because the other brother is riddled with guilt, thinking it was his fault because he's a shinobi who refused to kill. He just couldn't bring himself to kill anyone. And the one person he spared is the person who murdered his brother. So he's guilt ridden with that and has nightmares of the masked person. It, they, they are another faction of ninjas. I just can't remember what they're called. Something like the Fuman or something like that. Um, So he's riddled with guilt, blames himself. Whereas the sister has... um. The memories of the brother training her he used to kind of do magic of making his knives disappear and reappear and stuff and would train her in trying to learn that and then there's uh, there's a little kind of hidden away faction who are uh i don't know what way you would describe them as they are part of the shinobis but they're more kind of handlers and stuff and they end up getting the son to somewhat kind of help them out even though he's reluctant to do what he does when they approach the mother she jumps at the chance she absolutely yep i'm on board straight away and you you get twists and turns and it's all coming down to this new kind of religious order that's showed up out of nowhere and there's um quite a few twists and turns in there i won't go too far into that because you, i'd have to go into spoilers and i don't want to spoil it for anyone if you're interested in watching this um the action in it is great as well when you get action it's like the fight scenes there is blood and stuff um but there's a fantastic fight scene where the woman that the brother son meets in the restaurant type thing turns out she's a journalist and she's working on the story of this new order and stuff you don't know that at this point but she goes to meet a contact at this nightclub and you have to wear masks in the nightclub and that's the thing you'll notice especially when you're seeing these images there's a lot of images of uh, if the cast with masks on that's nothing to do with the, the coup for anything like that that every time they go into a fight they cover their face every single time um but they go in she goes into the nightclub but the son follows her she doesn't know he follows her because they were meant to go on a date and she cancels uh, to go on this uh meeting of this dude or contact and he follows her so he puts on his, the mask like covers his face stuff but there's a guy there there's you'll see an image in here somewhere of the woman with she looks like she's no eyebrows they're actually bleached blonde she's the villains our main bad guys um right hand person she uh, basically hired a guy in a train station and um, kind of put him into a task or something and he completed the task and gives him a mission and he's sitting in the nightclub and it's mad because all the noise of the music people dancing and shouting and all that he just starts randomly stamping people and no one re notices and realizes that he's killing people because he's doing it um so quietly and so on the sly amongst all the noise that you don't notice it but when he's about to kill because he kills the guy that the reporter woman is talking to i think her name was karen <laughs> at least she ha she's the one and only person who has a an easy name to remember in this uh, because all the rest of them are proper japanese names uh, she realizes he's about to kill her but the son comes out of nowhere and the two of them have a fight where they're literally trying to stab each other in the middle of a nightclub but it's being done in a way where no one realizes that these people are fighting each other and actually trying to stab each other it just looks like they're dancing the way it's done it sounds weird but the way it's done looks great and it's like 
that was very well done and there's a lot of stuff like that a lot of the action is spot on so i i would highly recommend you check out uh house of the ninjas and that the, the, the little fella he, he just he's going nuts because he's like there's something not not right you know this house why why is this house so big and yet there's not this much space in it you know why do you not telling me why is grandma nuts <laughs> you know how did my brother die <laughs> you know there's all this type of stuff and it's great fun there's some good laughs in it as well quite humorous things and uh, there's a lot of heart in it as well which is something you really do get with the asian um shows and movies is a lot of heart just look at godzilla minus one so i would highly recommend you check it out and it, it's dubbed in english so you don't have to worry about trying to read it or anything like that so with that if you've seen house of the ninjas i was going to say house of the dragons house of the ninjas let us know in the comments what you thought of it did you enjoy it and with that i'll leave it there for this one so cheers and i'll catch you in the next one